Hello, Joel Tamman here from Golf Monthly, and you join me here on the 18th green on the Duchess course at Weyburn Golf Club, where today I've been testing two of the most cutting edge laser rangefinders on the market in 2018. They are the Bushnell Hybrid and the Garmin Approach Z80. Now, traditionally, golfers have had to make a choice between whether they want the accuracy of a laser rangefinder and arguably the ease of use as well compared to the extra information you get with a GPS device, be it a handheld one or one that you clip to your bag that'll give you front, middle and back distances and sometimes touch screens where you can move toggles around and things like that. Whereas now with these two devices, you've got laser precision as well as GPS distance accuracy all in one device. And they do it in two kind of different ways. Let me kind of give you a rundown of what they offer. The Bushnell Hybrid comes in at £399. You've got all your favourite Bushnell features. You've got your 400 yard range C flag. You've got the jolt technology. So when you hit the flag from the background, it will vibrate to reassure you you've picked it out from the background. You've got the clarity of vision, all that kind of stuff you associate with Bushnell lasers. But then in addition, you can see you have this GPS screen here on the side, which will give you front, middle and back distances. And those distances will also be displayed on the viewfinder itself. So when you zap the flag, you can also see where that is in relation to the front and back of the green. You also get hazard information as well. So with the touch of a button, you can access hazard information as well as measure your shots as well. So you press the start button, walk to your ball, press stop, and then you can see how far you've hit your shot. The Garmin Approach Z80 offers you a little bit more. It does come in at a much more premium price. This is a whopping £549. But for your money, you are getting, arguably, for me, one of the most exciting, cutting-edge bits of kit on the golf market in 2018. Uh, I never thought I would see the day that this kind of technology was built into a laser device, and I've had loads of fun testing it out here today. So what makes this device stand out from the rest is that when you look through the viewfinder, it will display a 2D view of the hole on the left-hand side of the viewfinder. When you set up the device before you use it, you can tell it how far you hit your driver so that when you look through the viewfinder off the tee, there'll be an arc on the map which shows you, if you hit your driver, where that drive is going to finish. And that's a really useful feature. There's also different uh, layout distances displayed on that viewfinder as well. And then when you zap certain points on the course from the tee, a new arc will appear to show you where that point is on the hole. So that's a really useful uh, guide off the tee, something that previously a position where laser rangefinders often struggle, they've not been massively useful off the tee. Then when you get to your approach shot, when you zap the flag, obviously it will give you the flag distances. When you look through the viewfinder, you'll also get the front and back as well. And then when you hit the flag, the 2D view will zoom in and it'll give you another arc to show you where that flag is in relation to the front and back of the green. So you can see exactly is it slightly towards the front, slightly towards the back. So it just gives you even more information about the next shot. Now this also has some extra features on it. It has the plays like feature, which will give you slope adjusted distances. You can turn that off and put it into tournament mode so it's legal for competition use. Another function that isn't legal for competition use, but I really like, uh, another limitation of lasers in that is that if you have a blind shot, they're pretty useless. If you can't zap anything, you, you don't know where the flag is, you don't know where the green is, they can be pretty useless and you're, you're pretty much guessing about how far you need to hit the shot and where you need to go. But with the pinpointer feature, you can access it via the buttons here on top, go into the settings, choose the point pinpoint feature, and you can hold the laser up and it'll give you a little arrow on the screen. You can move it to the side until the arrow basically points to where the centre of the green is. And obviously with the GPS information, it'll tell you how far the centre of the green is as well. So you've got an idea into the direction that you need to go and also the distance you need to hit. And that's a really, really cool feature that I love about this Garmin Approach Z80. So I've been testing them both here today at uh, Weyburn Golf Club and I never thought I would say that a, a Bushnell hybrid with GPS distance yeah. on the side would be a more simpler offering. You can glance at the screen, give you the distances to the front, middle and back of the green, or you can go into more detail uh, and zap the flag. It, you know, through the viewfinder it'll tell you uh, the battery meter as well, you can toggle it between yards and meters. It's very quick. What I'd say, this is a really simple device to use, it's very light. The clarity of vision for the viewfinder is excellent. It's very speedy, easy to adjust the focus toggle here on top. And uh, with the two different power sources in the battery, you haven't really got to worry about 
them running out. That battery will last a long time. And I found the GPS battery as well lasts quite a long time too. I just checked it. I've been using it for an hour or so and I'm still on 100%. So it's quite wide in your hand, but very light, easy to use and a very impressive offering. But for me, the Garmin Approach Z80 just takes it to a new level. And if money is no object, this would definitely be the one I go for. You look through the screen and it's more of like a digital kind of screen. This is more kind of what you kind of would experience through actual eyes, whereas this makes it kind of feel like you're looking at a TV screen almost. It's just more modern, more cutting edge, more enjoyable to use, more fun to use, and gives you an awful lot more information. What I would say about the Garmin Approach Z80, it's slightly heavier, and obviously it's a lot more expensive, and I would say that it takes a little bit more time to pick out the flag from the background. It does have that image stabilization feature, which we've kind of seen something similar on Nikon devices before and once you get used to it I think they do work but it just takes a little bit of getting used to to kind of work out how to steady the laser and get the flag from the background. What I like about this is that when you, you pick up the flag the distances change from red to yellow so you know exactly when you've picked out the flag from the background. They also give you distances well certainly from under 150 yards anyway to the nearest point one of a yard which if that's something that you're interested in this Garmin will give it to you. The Garmin doesn't quite have as long a range to the flag, it only has 350 yards, but for me that is more than enough. It does automatically detect the hole that you're on, and for me it was slightly quicker at registering the course here today. It still took about 40 seconds, but it was slightly quicker than the Bushnell, although I would say this takes a little bit of setting up once you uh, buy it for the first time, you just need to enter some details, things like how far you hit your driver, etc. But it doesn't take too long, and the benefits of that are definitely worth it once you get out on the course for the first time. It does also give you hazard information off the tee as well, so you haven't got to worry about feeling left out. Obviously, I know the Bushnell gives you hazard information off the tee, but this does it as well in a more visual way. You might find with all the squinting that you do that your eyes start to hurt using this Garmin device, because all the settings are only accessible or viewed by the screen, so you have to look through the screen for a while and, and navigate through the settings via these two buttons here on top and then the select button here. So that's the, really the only downside with this Garmin, as well as the price, it is an awful lot of money, but you're getting an awful lot of technology for your money. As you can see, both of them come with premium looking carry cases and clips for you to clip on your bag so they're nice and accessible on the golf course. I would say that the battery life on the Garmin is not quite as long as the Bushnell but obviously it is powering a lot more technology but don't forget the simplicity of lasers that you often don't have to worry about the battery it lasts for an awful long time whereas with the Garmin especially compared to the Bushnell you probably have to think about charging it a lot more than you would a traditional laser so it's just something to think about if you're someone who you think might forget to do that quite often you'd want to be left with no battery on your device out on the golf course the if money was no object, there's no question I would go for the Garmin Approach Z80. It really is the best of the best in terms of laser rangefinders. If you want to save a little bit of money, but still get laser combined with GPS distances, the Bushnell Hybrid is an option for you at £399. They're both very accurate, testing them together using the same shots. They both were within a yard of each other, so I don't think you have to worry about accuracy. I would say the Bushnell is also slightly faster at giving you those distances to the flag, but all in all, they're both very impressive offerings. For me, the Garmin does edge it if money was no object, but if you're in the market for a new laser rangefinder and you've got a bit of money to spend, I really do recommend you try either of these two devices out on the golf course.